So you get yourself a scope and the first thing you want to do when you see amazing things is you want to inflict them upon everybody else. And the best way to do that is by taking photographs. And so of course you get your mobile phone and you want to mount it to your telescope. So I decided, um, having seen lots of people asking questions about phone mounts, um, which one would be the best? So I started off with um, two eBay ones that we've got here. This one is plastic. Um, it has a self-centering uh, mechanism on the front here and it's all padded and you should be able to just put your eyepiece in there, your phone in there, line it all up, put it on the scope and take some photos. Um, this one is a metal one, very similar in sort of design, um, in that you put your eyepiece in there and you uh, tighten it up, mount uh, the phone on it and then put it in the scope and take photos. Um, so we're going to look at that one as well. And then we've got this one, which uh, looks a little bit like an instrument of torture. Um, this is uh, the Celestron uh, NexYZ and um, it clamps onto your eyepiece and your phone mounts in there. And this one's fully adjustable. So it's got little knobs on the back to go up and down, left and right. And um, so we'll look at this one as well and see where we get to with them. Okay, so first of all, we have the plastic one. So I'm going to get some eyepiece out. Um, I've got two 25 millimeter eyepieces. This one is uh, very similar. To... This one is very similar to the sort of thing you would get free with your telescope. It came with this scope behind me, um, and uh, it has sort of rubber eye relief there. So when I'm going to put this in, I'm going to just fold that down, and let's um, give it a whirl. So this one actually tightens, and as it tightens, it self centers. The eyepiece so that's now completely attached it's looking very good um, so let's see if the phone will fit in to this um, okay so at the moment I can't actually get this when the phone's in its case it won't fit very well so I'm going to take the phone out of its case. Okay, so we have the phone out of its case. Let's now tighten it up. Okay, that fits quite well. That's not going to go anywhere. So let's open up the phone app. And we can see already, I've actually lined that up um, not too badly because it was obviously previously set up. So I'm just going to see if I can align that a bit. That's not bad. Right, so that's pretty much looking straight down the eyepiece. So let's put this on a telescope and let's see how it looks. So I've got my little tabletop scope here. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's currently just looking at the ceiling, which is fine. Um, let's see if we can get the secondary eye in there. Can I adjust it very well? No, don't get to sleep. It's actually pressing the bulb there, yo. Oh, right. So um, it's really difficult because every time I'm moving it, it's pressing the button. I'm trying to tweak it a little bit. So I would imagine if I was doing this outside and I was tweaking it, it would be quite... So I'm, I'm kind of there, but um, I suppose you, you would zoom in a bit to whatever your subject is. But on this occasion, I was hoping to get the um, the secondary mirror in there. So let's see if I can just push it down so I can get it a bit more central. Aha, how can that be the secondary mirror? There we go. So there's the secondary mirror in the middle there. 
and um, yeah, it's not bad. It's quite secure. It's quite secure, even on a little scope like this. Let's try a bigger eyepiece. Much bigger eyepiece compared to the other one. Um, although it's the same magnification, this is uh, 25 mil as well. Uh, so in theory, same magnification, but you can see the actual glass is much larger. Let's try and make that one fit there. Now interesting, this is only going to grip the the rubber of the eyepiece where the eye relief is. So let's go back into the camera if we can. It's really difficult when it's mounted to be able to press the buttons. Right. So we're back in the camera and already because of the large piece of glass you can see that it's pretty much lined up there. So I'll just tighten this off. Pop it on the um, telescope. And already you can see the secondary mirror in there. If we can bring it around. Oh, it's really difficult. Um, it's slowly rotating. It's a bit annoying really. Um, needs to go the other way. No, oh, stop rotating. I oh, know. Oh, it's turned off. Oh no. Oh, we're back. Okay, it's kind of there. See, it's really difficult to align. And it won't stay still. Stay still. I suppose I could tweak the eyepiece positioning. It's a bit better. Um, can I make it any better? There you go. And can we move it? No, it's the other way. You see, if you were doing that outside, I think you'd probably find that your phone would have fallen on the floor by now. But I suppose with a bit more practice, it will be okay. Let's try the metal one next. So going again with the uh, standard 25mm piece that you would get, say, with these types of scopes. Scope 10. And Tighten that up. Okay. Right, so that looks like it's over the camera. Problem is, I can't actually get to the camera button. There we go. So I managed to, to uh, turn on the phone. It's good. So I'm already on the eyepiece. So that's really good. I like that. That's not bad, actually. And how well does it hold in there? Wow, straight away we've got the um, secondary mirror in the focus there. So that's very good and it's rock solid. I mean, it's not going to move. That's really good. That was a lot easier than I thought. So, um, yeah, really good. Let's try a bigger eyepiece. This isn't actually gripping the eyepiece, it's just gripping the outside. Um, but we'll see how that goes, see if it is strong enough. I'd be a bit worried just putting my mobile phone just like that on its own. Let's go back into the camera now, see what we've got. Okay, so I'm, I'm sort of on there already. Just need to tighten it up and give it a tweak. So that is now on there, right. Um, okay, things adjusting. Wow, um, and it's gone straight onto the zoom button. But you can actually see. Oh, it's going on the zoom button. How annoying. Go away. Oh, maybe if I slacken this off. 
Bow down the phone to fall out. So already that's a bit loose now. Let's zoom out. Okay, so a bit better. But it's still... Oh. Okay, so I'm on the um, secondary mirror there. So this is actually pressing the zoom controls, which is really annoying. Um, and uh, although it is able to clamp onto the bigger eyepiece, so that's quite good. But uh, yeah, but it's still pressing the zoom button, which is not so good. Okay, let's go for the ultimate one that we have here, which is the next YZ. <laughs> so it has a clamp there to go in your eyepiece and your mobile phone fits in there. Oh, one thing I will say about this metal one is that um, even if you've got your phone cover on, it will fit, which is good, which it won't when it's in the plastic one. Well, it's that simple to put your phone in, and the eyepiece literally just clamps in and then you squizzle this little adapter on the back here this little uh, piece of metal here to lock it so that's now in there and at the moment it's not aligned so I'm going to use the controls to just pull it back and forth like this so it's moving the whole mechanism back and forth with the inner one and then up and down with that one so now all I have to do is literally move it back and forth until I find the eyepiece. And I'll zoom out a bit, there you go. So we're on the eyepiece already. That's very cool. There we go. So it's lined up there. And not only can you do that, there's another control here on the back, which then moves it in and out. So that is now pretty much where you need it to be. So let's put that on a, on a mini telescope. Straight away you can see the secondary mirror there. So let's centre that up by adjusting these. That's quite cool. So we're on the secondary mirror straight away. Um, you can see some additional info, uh, light getting in there at the top. So I suppose if you wanted a really clear image, you would have to cover that up or zoom in a bit. That's super cool. Very good. And um, really easy to adjust. So there you go. That's the Celestron. Um, so we had here the plastic one from eBay, a metal one from eBay. This one is self-centering. Um, these ones are under sort of £10, between £5 and sort of £10. Um, and they are okay, they're okay. Uh, this one, however, I'd be worried my phone would fall out. In fact, this phone did fall out and it's got a nice little chip on the bottom, which is a bit upsetting. Um, they can all take larger eyepieces, um, which is good. And um, although, it's hard to compete when you've got the next YZ, which is um, a fully adjustable when it's in position. And you can also access the buttons as well once it's in position. And you can just tweak it so easily. Um, so if you wanted to get a particular part of the moon, you could easily do that. You can also go in and out very easily as well to cut out any artifacts and zoom in on the thing you're looking at. Um, so there you go, that's the next YZ and two of the phone mounts so that we can take pictures to inflict them on our family and friends because they really want to see this kind of thing. Anyway, thanks for watching.